The Nintendo Switch is coming to an end pretty soon, as the Switch 2, or whatever the next console is going to be called, is probably going to come out next year. It's going to be announced this year, which has been announced by the president of Nintendo, which is pretty cool. But I guess the release date will probably be in, like, 2025. I think it'd be kind of smart to invest in some different Switch games that are going to go up in value, like, over time. Obviously, when things go up in value, it kind of is, a, like, a slow rise. So some of these games may be worth a lot of money in, like, 10 years, but... Who knows? Also, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 12,000 subscribers. I'm giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So what you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment down below letting me know you want to be in the giveaway. I have a small list of about 10 games here that I think would be pretty good investments over the course of the next couple years that are probably going to go up in value. And I think the main thing to think about when you're thinking of Switch games to invest in is like, Okay, what games are kind of more obscure, like not the top selling games, like Zelda Breath of the Wild is a quick example I'll give. I don't really think Breath of the Wild is going to be a really good investment for the long hold just because there are so many copies out there. I don't think the game's going to lose its value by any means, but I don't think it's going to be like a $100 game one day. Games that I do think are going to be a really good investment would be JRPGs, and one that I have on my list is called Trails from Zero, and now this is actually from a series the trail series and a lot of people recommend you actually play the like start from the beginning like the first games which you could get on i think steam but i don't know if the first one is actually on the switch but basically this is a jrpg game you know it has turn-based combat radio menus there's the different spells and um a lot of enemies in this game like cool unique enemies and different variety of them as well which is pretty cool the combat is pretty much like trails in the sky which is another you know trails game in that series or franchise the combat's really functional it's not confusing a lot of combat in some games is just kind of like confusing and weird and the story and the writing of this game is extremely good it's also pretty text heavy meaning like there's a lot of text and stuff to skip through a lot of people like that personally i kind of just skip through it i can't even lie i kind of skip through the dialogue i'm pretty bad with that but i know a lot of people love the dialogue and i think that this game would be a pretty good game to hold on to in the future another jrpg that i have on my list is octopath traveler so i'm sure a lot of you guys have actually heard about this game it's a pretty popular game but it being on the switch makes me think it's going to be a good investment for some reason switch and like nintendo consoles have a have a stigma or i guess of of actually holding value for games like for example Octopath Traveler on the Xbox One probably won't be worth much in the future, but on the Switch, it'll be worth more, if that makes sense. It's a weird concept, and doesn't really make sense saying it, but it's just just the way it is. So basically, this is like a JRPG role-playing game by Square Enix, which, you know, Square Enix has made some really great titles. This game was actually also on the Stadia, which I think was like the Google console that was a huge flop. But this game has amazing reviews. The presentation, the music, the battling is extremely good. Some people say the story is okay, but a lot of people say it's amazing at the same time. So I honestly think this is going to be a really good game to hold on to in the future. And it also is like a... And since it is like a role-playing game, you have like a different character class or jobs that you have that you can't alter through the gameplay, but you can have a sub-job that you could change at any time. But it can only be assigned to like one character at a time, and it has like a turn-based battle system different weapons, abilities, and different items to get in this game. It's a really unique game, and I definitely think a copy of this would probably be a pretty good investment to have for the Switch. I should also mention the prices. So Octopath Traveler is currently like like a 40-ish dollar game, 40 to 50 dollar game, and uh, Trails from Zero is actually about like an 80 dollar game at the moment. It's, it's pretty high up there in price. The next game that I have on my list is Xenoblade Chronicles, which Xenoblade, that's another franchise that's pretty big, but once again, I think it's going to be a good hold for the Switch. Xenoblade Chronicles is still selling at like $60, so just like the regular Switch price, and it's, and I'm actually talking about the Definitive Edition, which is just a remaster of Xenoblade Chronicles on the Nintendo Switch. I just feel like this is a type of game that's just going to do well on the Switch. Like, all of these kind of JRPG kind of role-playing games I really do think are going to do extremely well in the future. The reason I say that is because they're kind of like obscure-ish. I know they're still big titles, but they're obscure enough to where it's like the mass majority of people don't own these games and maybe one day down the road they want to or people that like them, uh, like that never had them in like 10 or 15 years and they want to play them on, you know, the Switch or original hardware or whatever, they can um, actually, you know, buy it and it's probably going to be worth a lot of money. I also think indie games are a must-buy, such as like Stardew Valley, which 
isn't really an expensive game at the moment, but Stardew Valley is an extremely popular game, and like I said earlier, having it on the Switch, in my opinion, is a good thing to, to own a physical copy on the Switch, just because this is the type of game that people are going to really love in 20 years still. Like, it's been a popular game ever, ever since it came out, and it, it has Animal Crossing vibes going with it. It's, you know, it's like a simulator style game. It's an indie game. It has like the classic video game style, like on the Game Boy animations or graphics or whatever. This is just the classic, like chill, relaxing, and calming game that is perfect for the Switch. And I, I think this is also on like, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. But honestly, in my opinion, I think the Switch is the perfect console to play this on because you can play it on the go. The, it just it just screams Nintendo game, in my opinion. And I really do think that one day this will be a pretty expensive game. Next up, I got Undertale. Undertale is currently selling like the physical copy for about like 20 to 30 ish dollars. And I'm not sure if this is actually still in production or not, like if they still make new copies of this game. But I know you could buy it digitally for 15, but I think the physical copy, I mean, you can't sell digital copies. So you have to buy the physical copy, of course, if you're looking for investments. But basically, this game is like an NES style game, like kind of has like the classic Nintendo style animations and graphics and like the text boxes on the screen it seems like a classic game that's going to be you know loved by a lot of people in the future it seems like it's still like a it's still a popular ish game but it still seems like it's kind of under the radar i feel like for a lot of people it's been out since 2018 so it's been out for quite a long time you know just another nice role-playing game that i think is going to do well in the future for investments next up is crypt of the necro dancer which Seems like it's selling for around like 40, 50 ish, around there, dollars for the physical copy. And this is a matching rhythm game where there's some original soundtracks and it's like a dungeon exploration game. And I think this is a really unique game. It's, it's another one of those like NES kind of inspired graphics, it seems like, which I think a lot of people like to have on modern software is like new game. With the classic NES or SNES, you know, style animations or graphics, it's just, it's just like a really loved animation style and people just eat this stuff up. And I really think that this one is going to be a really good game in the future too. Like, I think even better than like the previous two games I was talking about. I don't know if you guys have heard of the company Limited Run. I think that's their, their name, Limited Run. So basically they make their own Switch games that are limited run they make a, a limited edition or a limited amount of these specific games and their games are great and what happens obviously when their great games go out of production is they go up in value and some of these games actually are worth a ton but they still make a ton of games you can buy a ton of them on their website currently and i think those would be the games that are good to buy for like the future if you can get your hands on some of the older limited run games like for a good price that would be great too but specifically i think bat boy is going to be a good one this one you could buy digitally for like 15 but the physical copy i think is like 40 to 50 ish dollars some price like around there and basically, this one is also kind of NES inspired. It seems like most of these limited run games are pretty inspired by the classic Nintendo games. But this game just looks so vibrant with the colors. I think the play style looks great. I think it's just a really cool vibe to it. Like you're in the jungle, you're in like a Japanese area, the underground. I think it's just a really cool game. And another limited run game is called Stray Lights. So this is limited run, but it's not like the NES graphics it's it's its own like 3d animation style and this game looks stunning like this game looks amazing especially for it being on the switch and i wish that pokemon games looked like this on the switch this looks incredible i think the artwork for a lot of their limited run games are just so good and i think their play style for a lot of the games are great too like most of their games are highly highly rated so i think as many limited run games as you can that would be great and also what I strangely enough think is going to be a good investment, like would be Pokemon Sword and Shield, but the one, the game cartridge that has the DLC with it, that comes along with it. And I don't think that like regular Sword and Shield or regular Pokemon games on the Switch are going to be worth anything because there are so many copies out there. It's so easy to buy a copy of Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu or Legends Arceus or any Pokemon game on the Switch is literally so easy to get. But the ones that have the DLC with the cartridge were a pretty limited run and um not many people bought them because they would just buy the digital dlc so i think those in the long run will be worth something like long time down the down the road and i also don't think that like you know many of the zelda games like definitely not breath of the wild or 
Tears of the Kingdom. I don't think those are going to be good investments, but rather maybe like the smaller Zelda games that they released on the Switch. I think those have a potential of being good investments, but not amazing. Like, I don't think you should bet your money on those just because even though they are amazing games, they're great games, there are just so many copies out there and most Switch owners already own them. So it's like, you know, there's no point really. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to make more like this. I think this is really fun and exciting and it's kind of cool to see, try to predict what's going to be you know, valuable in the future in the Switch world because the Switch is still here, but it's ending soon, meaning a lot of the games are going to shoot up in value. Not to say that there aren't a lot of Switch games that aren't a lot of money. There definitely are some Switch games that are worth hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. I should make a video about that too, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.